Hey guys, my name is Alberto. This is True Sales Free. As you can see, I have new people here behind me. Here's Lucas and Lucas. So you can say double Lucas. And before you get the topic of the day, don't forget to subscribe here. It's your first time to come to my channel. Today I'm going to speak about a very important topic to every Christian. The second coming of Jesus Christ. We all know he once came as a baby, but this time, do you know is he coming? I'm going to speak about it. The signs and how to prepare for his second coming. So, without further ado, I'm going to start. Jesus' second coming is all about him coming for, for the second time, not to die, but to come and take us to where and, and to show us why he died for us. Where are we going and why it said that he saved us. He saved us from what? From sin, right? After saving us from sin, is he coming back? For he told us a promise in John chapter 14 that let us our hearts not be troubled but we must believe in God and also in him. If he goes to prepare room for us, he will come again and take us. Now the question is, how long Jesus and how, what shows that he's really coming? I'm going to hand to my friend Luca. If you look to the world now as we are living these days, the fulfillment is really taking place. The signs which Jesus Christ have left with us in the book of Matthew chapter 24 is taking place now. So we are now looking at the world whereby uh, floods are taking place, natural disasters such as earthquakes and also the false prophets are coming in whereby now if we look in every country we we'll see that there are different prophets there and they are trying claiming that they have the power from Christ. They can heal, they can do all other things, they can make people walk who are lame and a lot of things that they are doing. But now let us try to see to the scripture what is it telling us of these signs. We could see that these signs are one of what Jesus Christ told us that this is going to happen and he will come. So one of you might ask yourself a question as my brother have said that how long will it take for him to come? Actually, my brethren, as we are looking at the signs, a lot of things are happening now in the world. A lot of things are happening. War is breaking out. People are fighting against each other. Kingdoms and kingdoms are fighting each other. All these signs are left with us by Jesus Christ. And he told us that if you are going to see this, remember and know that I am coming very soon. So, my brethren, our redemption is very near. It's us to prepare ourselves. We need to prepare ourselves. And let us continue reading into the scripture. So we see that in the Gospel of Matthew, Christ clearly indicated the signs that would precede his return. God inspired the prophets to write down his messages. So in the prophecies, the future is open before us plainly as it was open to the disciples by the words of Christ himself. Now, the question is, how can we prepare for the soon coming of our Lord and Savior if we do not know when these things are going to take place? So let us read in the book of Matthew chapter 24, Verse 36, it says, But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So let us look at the name no one. No one is not someone, and someone is not known because someone can't be known. So if the Bible says no one knows of the day and hour, so which means no, none of us, not anyone in this world knows when Christ is coming back for the second time. But it's not possible for us to know the day and the hour, but it's possible to know that Christ is coming. Looking at the signs that Christ had uh, given us in the book of Matthew 24, it can really tell that Christ is coming for the second time. And when we see these signs, the fulfillment of these signs are taking place, that is when we can know that Christ is coming for the second time. We may not know the day, nor the exact hour of Christ coming, but it's possible to know that the Savior coming is drawing near. And this is the blessed hope. As you have heard the signs that foretell Jesus' second coming, we know not the day, not the hour, but we know the signs. For he told us that these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So these things are showing that Jesus Christ is coming soon. We are hearing of the earthquakes, hunger taking place, sicknesses, and everything that is bad that's coming to the world is shocking the hearts of men. Many people are becoming afraid. Now the thing is, you get people deceiving you that Christ is coming anytime soon. Yes, we believe, but... Christ is not just coming because these signs must take place. Now there are some facts about Jesus' second coming which you are going to say right now. And one of them is that every eye shall see him. You hear about false Christ in countries. I heard about in Kenya, I heard about in Jerusalem and other countries that 
Christ has come. People are recognizing those people as Jesus Christ himself. But you realize that Revelation 1 7 says that every eye shall see him. It's not secret. Jesus said that if anyone tells you that he is there in the secret chamber, he is there in the desert, do not go. Why? Because that's not me. 1 Thessalonians 4 16 tells us that when the Lord shall come, he will be in the air because the dead will be resurrected first because they died first in Christ and the living Christians will be found, they will be caught up, they will be taken to meet the Lord in the air. So if you find someone telling that Jesus Christ is in Kenya, is in Jerusalem, is where, wherever they tell you he is, do not believe it because Jesus Christ won't come secretly but publicly with a trumpet sound of the archangel the voice of the archangel everybody shall hear him and there will be thunders as the thunder strike from the east to the west so shall be Christ's second coming there will be a noisome event if you do not hear any sound if you do not hear any voice of the archangel do not believe it if it's not standing in the air do not believe it by the way didn't Jesus Christ say he will come with angels he's going to come with mighty angels thousands millions of angels as he is going to descend from heaven every eye shall see him and everyone will hear so do not be deceived that the, there is a secret rapture there's nothing like that my brethren the bible doesn't talk about that so if we are saying that there's a secret rapture then how is it that the bible says again that every eye is going to see him just like a thunderstrike from the east to the west everyone is is will see the thunderstrike isn't so so the son of man as he's going to come everyone will see him that's why the bible says in the book of revelation that some will try to hide themselves in the caves isn't so it's because they are going to see him so my brethren we need to get time to read the scriptures for us to be on a safer path on a safer path and how can we prepare ourselves the book of matthew says that just like a master going and leaves his servants to watch so we should watch and when he comes back the one that he finds watching still watching he shall take with him so he wants us to watch watch not just watching not just sitting reluctant we need to share the gospel of his second coming we need to pray that remember us when you're going to come so we need to pray and read the scripture daily to avoid also being deceived the bible says that if possible even the elect will be deceived so it's very much important that we read the scriptures so in the prophecies of the scriptures we are told that just before the second coming of coming of christ so many things are going to happen in this world but let us not utter a word of unbelief or discouragement but how can i prepare how can you prepare for the second coming of christ remember in the scriptures we are told that we have to be sober we have to watch therefore let us not sleep so many scriptures in the bible tells us on how the christian is supposed to live the best attitude of a Christian is always to be looking for his Lord's return. So let us live with a sense of the nearness of the second coming of Christ, beloved. Amen. So with this, we come to the end of the video. I know you don't touch all points, but we encourage you to read scripture relating to Jesus' second coming. You can read the book of Thessalonians, speak much about Jesus' second coming, and especially Matthew 24, which show the signs of his coming. And the also first Timothy 3:16 or 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Timothy chapter 3. About the behavior of the people in the last day. This will show that Jesus Christ is really coming soon. Do not be deceived. Go by the Bible, Sola Scriptura, the Bible and the Bible only. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Bye bye.